Welcome, welcome, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be getting the Red CRX painted, finally. It has been a long journey, get this thing sanded down and ready for paint. Today's the day I'm gonna paint or attempt to paint this thing all one color and not use spray paint, but use actual paint clear gun. Some of you in the last CRX video told me that I pretty much go on like a run on sentence. So I'm gonna try to keep it short and sweet, just get the juicy bits in there. And sorry about that on the last video. I appreciate the comments and the feedback. And without any more hesitation, let's get this thing painted. In a quick recap, last video we got this thing primered and wet sanded. We got it masked off and ready for paint. And ready to put inside the 115 degree garage. I make sure the paint booth is extra clean, roll this guy in there and mask off the rest of the car. This is my 1988 Honda CRX. And for those of you that are new to the channel, this thing is getting a complete makeover. I am not the best painter. This is the first car I've completely painted by myself. So right now I'm mixing the paint with reducer and then I'm gonna put it in the gun and shoot the first layer. This is some bloody red paint. This is, this is gonna be interesting. All right guys, paint is in the gun. And I am hella nervous right now, so I guess I'll just start with this quarter panel as a test test spot. I guess that's good. <laughs> I might play a painter on TV, but I do not know what I'm doing. Well, a little bit, but not as much as I probably should to be doing this. Gonna hang out for a minute while I let the paint dry. What's up? How are you? Gave myself a chance to breathe. Now it is time for coat number two. First coat, looking all right. Not terrible. It's getting to be all one color. Oh, mother I forgot to put the goddamn fuck. This is why I'm an idiot. I forgot to put a wheel cover on that side, so it's not too late, but damn, I gotta do some more work. I gotta scrub the scrub the paint off that wheel. Whoa, 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 whoa! Where'd you get that shirt, man? That thing's sick. Red or dead. Where'd you get that shirt, man? Oh, you bought it on the Red or Dead merch shop? How'd you find the link? Oh, if you go to the description in the video, you'll find the link to buy a shirt like that? That's sick, man. You can get your very own Red or Dead t-shirt, just like the one my boy Tiny's wearing. If you click the link on the description of the video, it'll take you straight to the site where you can check out all the t-shirts, stickers, hats, we got it all in the shop below. Also guys, make sure you smash the likes, hit the subscribe button, it helps me out a bunch. I love to see channel growth, like I say every time. So, let's jump back into this freaking CRX because I am done working on it. All right, fourth and final code. I'm hoping this is enough. I mean, this is almost the end of the paint, so whatever I have left is what's gonna be shot. After a few coats of clear, I'm just gonna let this thing sit overnight and then we'll reveal it tomorrow morning when I strip off all the tape. So the paint job is far from perfect, but for my first time doing an entire car, wouldn't say it's terrible. As you can see, there's some imperfections down here. A little bit of mapping over here. Little paint run right there. Some tiger striping on the hood. A little bit of mapping right there. But you know, hey, it's my first time painting an entire car with a cheap gun. This is just paint. I still have to shoot the clear. We are doing a four to one ratio with the clear and the hardener. So four parts clear, one part hardener. <laughs> All right, 
So first layer of clear is on, and this thing is starting to look awesome. That clear is definitely saving me from a lot of headache. It is starting to make the car look amazing. So the car is finally cleared, and I made a little bit of a mistake. So I went a little heavy on the clear, and now I got some runs of the paint. It's not the end of the world, I will sand them out, but I'm kind of bummed about them because it just means that there's more work for me to do once this thing is done, but here is the grand reveal of this car. I mean, from what it was to what it is now is a million times better. I am hyped on this thing. very first car I painted all by myself from start to finish. I'm gonna call this a W. Looks a million times better than when I first bought it. I'll be completely honest with you guys. There are runs, there are some fisheye areas. There's a little bit of mapping here and there, but like I said, for my first car, I'm not gonna cry about it. You can see on the door right here, I went a little heavy on the clear, along with right here, so it does have some runs. The hood has a little bit of trash in it from, I don't know, maybe the particles on the ground or maybe the hose, I don't know. There's Little bits and pieces here of trash you can kind of see in the paint. So hopefully I can get that sanded out. But I mean, overall, it's shiny and it's a CRX. I think I'm mostly hyped because I did this all by myself. I'm a very stubborn person and I love to do things like DIY. I like to learn how to do things I like doing things myself. So learning how to shoot paint and make it look good is something I've always wanted to do. I'm working on it. I know this is far from good. And just because I'm so curious, I'm gonna peel this side off and see how close the colors match because like, I did not paint the bottom of the door. I left that the color it was. So I'm gonna peel off the top half and see if it's at least close to matching the bottom half. I'll be hyped if this color is the same. Dude, that looks pretty good to me. So I couldn't wait to peel off all of the wrapping on the car. And oh my God, this thing looks freaking sick. Look at this. I still need to wash it, detail it, buff it, do all that stuff. Cause all this will, you know, be cleaned, but it looks so good. I'm so stoked on this thing now. I cannot wait to drive it. Alright, so now that the glamour shots are out of the way, it's time to really show you what's going on here. Like I said earlier, I suck at painting, and now I have to sand all this, <laughs> all this clear coat that I got way too saturated. It's drip city, not good, but like I said, it can all be wet sanded down and make it look like glass, like mirror finish. There's a little bit of that on the hood. Pretty bummed about that. I'm not gonna beat myself up too much over it, but overall the car looks freaking awesome now. I mean, from here it looks great. So the next step is to paint all the black plastic trim black again, reinstall some of the little pieces that are missing, like on the door, on the roof. I'll have all those little bits, the uh, windshield wiper nozzles, all that stuff. Get the overspray off of the wheels. So I'm gonna show you the before and after on this car, and it's, it's quite stunning how, how well this thing turned out compared to how it was before. So this is it before. This is after. So this is a pretty cool part about this car. It's only got 101,000 miles. This thing is a 1988 and has 101,000 miles. I'm gonna get the Carfax to verify that, but if that's true, that's freaking awesome. So next I am gonna be putting this interior back together. It's not in the best shape right now, just because I stripped a lot of panels down for paint. I have all the interior panels to go back in the car, so it's gonna look brand new. I wanna have this car as close to OEM as possible with just a few little add-ons, you know, the wheels, coilovers. For the most part, I want it to be fairly stock. That, that goes with the interior, just the aftermarket radio, and that's pretty much it. This thing's gonna be a ton of fun. 
So that's it for today. I need to catch up on some much needed sleep. I've been staying up way too late working on this thing every night. And now that I'm done, I'm gonna take a freaking, take a freaking break from working on the cars. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned on the next one. Make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll keep you guys updated on the next one. Till then, later.